Hello and this is Theme Park Squib and today we're here at Chesterton World of Adventures Resort. Not for a vlog, we're actually here for a little closed season update. We were here to pick up our parcel, but we'll give you a little closed season update. There's a lot of work going on, so we'll uh, show you some work. So as you can see here, we're near the railings here, near the toilets to adventure points. This is all closed off. The games are not there, and as you can see over there, is actually the uh, Sea Storm centrepiece. That's having some work done. I'll take you down there in a minute. Uh, Dragon's Fury, doesn't look like it's having a lot of work done, but then there's some work going on the queue line there of tiny truckers. Uh, we do not know what's going on over there. Uh, we can't see much as it's zoo day, so we'll get a lot of view around there of stuff going on. The Black Buccaneer, you cannot see it through the trees as it has been taken down. So yeah, I'll show you some more closed season shots. See there, the uh, tiny truckers' carts are actually out the station a bit. Over there, Dragon's Fury. Uh, not much going on. Actually, down there, the present is still up for Winter's Tower, but the thing behind there, the main sign for Toadie's Crazy Cars is gone, so maybe it could be a retheme of Toadie's Crazy Cars coming. I hope not. I do like that ride. And uh, Rattlesnake is just through there, but we'll get a better shot around the corner of Rattlesnake and the rest of Mexicana. So, uh, see you over there. A view into the uh, queue line of Rattlesnake there. You can actually hear the sound effects are on. The gate around there, I'll show you in a minute, is actually open. And they've all been painted up. Like the snake, Rattlesnake down there has been painted up. And uh, so has all the cats. It's just a lot fresher, but you barely queue around here because this one never gets a queue. But then, uh, yeah, uh, rattlesnake there, uh, not much going on with that, but it's probably just general routine maintenance checks and the lights are on down there in front of the Photoshop. As you can see there, the actual queue line entrance for Rattlesnake is open. Um, not dogs there, uh, just there, the vegan restaurant. And down there to Scorpion Valley and Scorpion Express, you can see a van is there and it looks like the train is not on course. And then there is the old annual pass hub and VIP experience that's of a sadly uh, left the park now. Um, don't know why, but they have left. As you can see here, Sea Storm's having a lot of work done. All the covers are gone, they're there. See the motor, I did show you the rock over there. And there's actually some uh, work going on there. Is that polish and some water and a hat and a screw? A lot of work. I think we can get down there because the games are open. So I'll uh, take you down there so we can have a look at um, some other rides having uh, maintenance done. Look at that. As you can see here, looking down in Wildwoods, Vampire is closed there. Not a lot of maintenance, just a rug down there and all the game draw packs up. But then Graffler, that's actually going to be open for February half term. As you can see there, and the cue boards on that song with some really annoying music. The shops all boarded up, but this area will be open in a few days' time. But Vampire won't, and that'll be open there later on in the season. So I'll show you some more close season shots. You can see there into Land of the Dragons and the one of the overhead crossbars from Black Buccaneer there. Not a lot of work going on with Dragons for you. I think that flat rides have to do have a lot of work done, but then coasters really don't. Maybe a bit of training. I think. Griffith's Galleon, there's some work going on over there. Uh, that don't really matter, it's just a rocking tug and uh, that rider still reminds me of the time I uh, actually broke down on it, which was uh, about an hour. As you can see there, into the Black Buccaneer pit, the crossbar structure's gone, there's crossbars over there. But then down here, as you can see, yeah, there's Black Buccaneer's boat, the uh, top's been taken off it, a lot of work. They've actually stripped down, if you can see, I can see it, the uh, seats disappeared there, vampire down the back there, we can't get really close up to that sadly, but a lot of work is going on down there, there's loads of fish and chip things, but the fish and chip shop is open for zoo days, weren't open for Christmas, which was such a shame, but good to see a lot of work going on down there on uh, back, back in here. The other side of the sea storm, as you can see there, the octopus is there, uh, nice to see, and the new games they look like painted up, and then there's another crossbar for black back in here there. Uh, just see down there into where the rock is for um, Sea Storm. A lot more work over here. The boats have actually been taken off the track over there. Adventure tree over there, that's open for zoo days. And yeah, so I think we're going to take you over to Room on the Room now. As you see here, finally the sign of Hocus Pocus Hall here has gone, but the, uh, the goblins are still in place. A lot of work going on over here for Room on the Room, the new edition. Only a month till we're going to get in there, and it's going to be exciting to see. So as you can see here, they're putting an extension queue line because all the four room on the boom had a queue there. It's now going to get a full queue line here, which it looks massive, but it's an IP, so it is going to get big queues. 
Uh, some of the Hocus Pocus Hall signs are still up, they're still doing some work uh, around there. I'm sure there'll be activities like Graffalo. Uh, this just used to be a balcony and it's all gone now. Uh, and then uh, there's the uh, hall itself. Uh, which is, and that's where the um, goblin, the only little door that used to have sound effects on that is now gone. See there's the uh, door to Hocus Pocus, the sign's still up, I'll get a better view down there. Some of the old Hocus Pocus signs are still up. Uh, hopefully they do get removed or I don't want to be reminded of them. Do not want to get reminded of the old attraction. So yeah, before we uh, I leave you, I actually did pick up some pin badges today from Chesington World of Adventures. Some very special, brand new for 2019 ones. I've got five of them here. Uh, they are new for this year. Some of them i got this one here, Chesington World of Adventures Resort. An otter there, just a really nice pin. Uh, they've released a couple of these animal ones this year. Where you uh, get an animal with Chesnerton World of Adventures, which is always nice to get an animal pin. Uh, Black Buccaneer, finally getting some merchandise there. Getting his logo as a pin badge, which is always nice to see a uh, ride, guess a um, pin badge. And also uh, Rattlesnake, finally getting a pin. It's a different snake on that logo, logo than the usual one that you usually get. Uh, it's always good to uh, see Rattlesnake actually get some merchandise as well. But the next two are really, really special. Yes, Chesington have joined Alton Towers with releasing retro pin badges. So the first one is Safari Skyway 1986 to 2015. The monorail that used to go around the zoo of the park, you boarded it, nice one of like the cart there with the dates on, which is always nice. And it's good that Chesington are now releasing vintage ride pin badges. And also, this is a special one as well Rodeo, the old break dance at the park, uh, 1996 to 2004. There, facts about that, uh. That's cowboy in there. On Vampire, just before the second lift deal, there is actually a statue. That statue is actually the rodeo the rodeo um, cowboy. So, yeah, some really nice pin badges there. And, uh, yeah, I'll um, see you in uh, a minute. So that was one of my first ever winter updates I've ever done on the channel. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, I didn't, I'm wrapping up here in the hub because I do not want to wrap up there. It was tipping it down rain. I went in the Sea Life Centre, had a quick look round in there and when we came out it was windy, ice cold rain. A not very nice experience, nearly an hour till park closed, so we left anyway. Uh, it's been a good day, we had a nice look around the zoo that you didn't see because this is a winter update. I filmed a vlog a couple of months back. Uh, this was just looking at what's going on in the park uh, with Room on the Broom and the maintenance that is going on. Uh, the maintenance that we did see going on is um, uh, Tiny Truckers is having a bit of a QE firm. That's been confirmed a couple of months back that that is happening. Uh, Toad's Crazy Cars, the sign is mysteriously gone. Don't know what that's all about, but uh, all will be revealed in about a month's time. Uh, sea Storm's been taken down as well. We uh, know that for a fact that Sea Storm's having a lot of maintenance done. Looks really weird with that sort of swim over it. The boats have been taken off, and the uh, octopus is just chilling out in the uh, disabled entrance. Uh, and then for Black Buccaneer, that's been taken down again. Hopefully it won't result in the attraction being delayed. Uh, like last year, it opened in May. Yeah, May, because they took it right down. In Wildwoods, not a lot is going on, as that will be open for February half term for Animal Adventures Week. That will be uh, starting shortly, actually. Not next week, it's February half term. Not long after that. The theme park season will be starting up again and the show will be back on the channel. Also, uh, Room on the Broom, a lot of work is going on down there as the re-theme of Hocus Pocus Hall continues to Room on the Broom, a magical journey. Only in a month's time, it doesn't look likely it's going to be ready for the 10th of March or the 9th of March as it will be open for preview day. They have confirmed that we will be getting it. Uh, but um, yeah, it looks really uh, interesting. We don't know what's going on inside, is it's an indoor attraction. The outside looks quite good, as we can see that the um, an extension queue is getting built on that little bit of um, a patio to the left of Hocus Pocus between Hocus Pocus Hall, the main path there, and the um, 
Smokehouse BBQ. It'll be getting a queue there because the queue before was just out in the front. The queue will be going in there. Some Hocus Pocus Hall signs are still up. The main sign over the entrance is still up. Some of like the Buggy Park signs are still up. The goblins around the areas are still up. The old Hocus Pocus Hall massive sign down the end of the path. That has now been removed. That was actually fixed back in the year, but the sign's been removed, but the pillars are still in. I suppose the goblins will be staying, uh, but it's all be revealed as we are. We actually did book our Chessington World Adventures preview day tickets today, as they did go on sale. Uh, and we got them, so we'll be there on the 9th of March to check out with a preview of Room on the Broom, A Magical Journey, and to check out the park for the 2019 season, which is all exciting. That's it for a video here on Theme Park Scrib. I hope you enjoyed our first winter update. If this does well, we will be doing more ne um, for the rest of the closed season, not much longer now. I can't wait for the main season to begin again. And, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!